to my channel guys so today's video is one that is speaking to me because i love everything organization if you know anything about me um you know that organization is like my jam and i am obsessed with it so when it comes to like my kids rooms and nurseries i take it like one step further especially because i'm nesting and you kind of go overboard with the nesting at least i do so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I organized baby's dresser as well as his closet. So if you're new here, first off, welcome. My husband and I are moving in the next coming weeks. So this is not his nursery, so to speak, or like his final nursery, but I wanted to get things organized before he came. So I found having a dresser kind of gave things a spot in the meantime so with all that being said i think we should just go ahead and jump into the dresser okay so this is kind of an awkward angle but i will show you each individual drawer and how i folded things and all that fun stuff now this is our second baby and even though i followed like a similar system when it comes to organizing his things it is slightly different so if you want to see my daughter's nursery she's 16 months i will link it um so you can get some ideas through that video as well if this doesn't necessarily work for you but this is the ikea eight drawer hems dresser and everything i mention in terms of organization will be listed in the description box for you okay so this is what the dresser looks like from a front view you can see that there's four smaller drawers up top like two bigger drawers and then two large extra large drawers on the bottom so we're just going to jump into the first one this drawer is going to be housing all of his diapers and these are the newborn diapers so you can see that they fit really well three along the side and um, in height as well the second drawer is going to hold like all of his diaper changing necessities and like pharmacy type things I like to call it. So we have wipes here, nothing in the back. And this container is actually a hair product organizer from the container store. But what we have in here are like his little brush, some baby oil, diaper cream, aquaphor. These little individual containers, I have hand sanitizer, saline spray, a medicine dispenser, some hair products, um, gripe water, a nail filer, and then these Windy um, from Frida Baby. So what I like to do, which might be helpful for you guys, is I like to measure the drawers when I'm looking for containers so I know exactly what I need and I'm not out like trying to figure it out on the spot because that can be kind of stressful if you buy things, bring it home, and then it doesn't work. The next two drawers have the same organizers and I bought both of these from Home Goods and Home Goods has great deals on like bins so always check there first if you can and then go to places like Amazon and then Container Store. This one has all of his socks in it and the one in the back has his little top knot hats. So pretty simple but keeps everything contained and really easy to find. This one, again, the same two organizers, and again, I measured to make sure that I could fit both of these in here, and I kept the dimensions in my phone, so if I was out at a home goods, I could easily pull up to see what would fit in here. But the first little bin has all of his passies, and here's a little sneak peek, but again, I will have all these listed down below. And then in the back, I have his bibs that he might not be using for a while, and then some teethers and this baby shusher. And then these bottom four drawers are holding all of his clothes. So the first one is newborn, zero to three, three to six, and then overflow from there. So the first two drawers are laid out pretty much exactly the same. So I like to keep all of his sleepers um, organized with this drawer divider that's adjustable. And I picked these up from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're just acrylic adjustable um, drawer dividers. 
And the reason why I like to use those for sleepers is because sleepers can get bigger in size, obviously, as they get bigger. So it's easier just to adjust it as need be. And I like to get containers that I know that I will reuse um, in other places in our home. Like I could easily reuse these in a bathroom, in our kitchen. So money will not be going to waste. I know that there's other options like the fabric dividers and drawer um, organizers, but I find that there's only one place you can put those, which would be a dresser. So anyways, we have sleepers like I mentioned, and I'll show you how I fold these um, at the end of the video. We have long sleeve onesies, short sleeve onesies, and then his leggings. And then zero to three month. So again, we have all of his sleepers. This one is rompers, like long pant rompers. And then this is actually long sleeve. And then I had one short sleeve, so I thought it was easier just to put everything in one container. And we had quite a bit or a few rompers, so they kind of have their own little container. And then his leggings, again, in the smaller acrylic bin. And then down here, I didn't think it was worth going out and buying any containers, so I just have things kind of laid out so I can see what we have going on in the other sizes. So sleepers, short sleeves, long sleeves, and then leggings, pants. And then same thing, sleepers, extra pajamas, onesie, and leggings. Okay, so we're about to head into the closet and I will show you how everything is organized and hopefully you can get some inspiration for your baby's nursery. Okay, so I like to use these blanket organizers or actually I think they're like clothing organizers for blankets. And this one I picked up from Target very inexpensively but you could probably even get it off of Amazon. And it's a great way to store your blankets because I always find that you end up with so many gifts and you purchase them and whatnot. And then I use these velvet hangers that I purchased off of Amazon. They were very inexpensive. If you missed my postpartum essentials video, I will link it, but this is just our baby caddy that I'm keeping in here for now. And this is probably like the number one thing that I wanna mention um, in terms of organization for your baby's closet. So I find that maximizing your space vertically is the best way to utilize, I guess, your space. So this little cube organizer is from Target. I wanna say it's around $35, $40. And these bins are from the container store, but you can find them pretty much anywhere Target has them. I believe they're a little bit bigger than these, but these work just as great. And I will, again, link everything below. These clips come in various colors. They come in white, black, gold, and silver. I have the gold ones, and they come in packs of three. So I picked these up from the container Container store and the reason why I like to label everything one it just looks nice but two if you have like family members helping you out or your significant other I find that they're constantly asking where things are and it's just kind of like a nice thing to get off of your plate where they can just come in here see what you need and then grab it these labels are from the home edit um, if you go to their website you can have labels custom made and all of these the bedding swaddles and burp cloths were custom made but they already had the shoes labeled so i just purchased that one um individually but anyway so these just slip out if you ever want to like replace them I, we have all of our burp cloths swaddles these are all of our velcro swaddles and like wearable blankets down here are crib sheets and then all of his shoes are in that bin we do have a laundry hamper in here, um, and this is something else that you can just disregard for now, but I find this is the best way to utilize the space. If you wanna see how I organized Peyton's nursery, it's a very similar setup, but her closet is a little bit bigger, so if you wanna see that one, I will link it. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into quickly how I fold things so you can see how I get them to kind of lay a specific way in the container. Okay, so for the newborn sleepers, I pulled them slightly different, I believe, than the zero to three. Actually, no, they're folded the same. So um, the newborn and zero to three sleepers are folded the same. So basically what you do is you take your sleeper 
and then you're gonna fold it in half where the zipper the buttons are fold the sleeves in kind of make sure that they're tucked in there pretty good um, and then you're gonna fold the feet up a third of the way and fold the top down so then you have this little like sleeper sandwich basically and then you just tuck that right into your drawer so moving on to onesies now because the newborn onesies are so little um, i fold these i know i fold these a little bit different so i'll zoom you in and do it on the dresser okay so for these i like to have it basically upside down and then you're gonna fold over the sleeve fold over this side so that the sleeves are tucked in and then I always like to fold the bottom up first and then fold the top kind of over it so that the top is facing you when you go to put it in the drawer. And then it fits right in there. And then I fold the short sleeves the same way and then the leggings because they're so tiny. You basically, let me pick out a different color because those are hard to see. Um, you just fold them in thirds. So fold up the little like ankle part and then the top over it and then they fit right in there okay and then i'll show you quickly how i organize or fold i should say his zero to three month rompers onesies <clears throat> okay so i have my little onesie again i like to have it face down and same concept except you're going to want to make sure that the um, like sides of the onesies are folded in as well except for when the newborn when we were folding it It was basically just the arm folding in but this one you want to make sure that the sides are kind of folded in a little bit as well So as you can see Hopefully um, this part is folded in a little bit the arm folds in towards the middle the side folds in probably about an inch arm folds in and then same thing you fold up half third of the way and the bottom and then fold the top over for the rompers so what i like to do is treat it as if it was a onesie so you're going to want to fold the leg basically in half fold the arm into the middle and then take this side fold it in half take the arm fold it into the middle and then from there again just fold it in thirds so if you take the bottom fold it into a third so there is going to be like a gap here basically and then you fold the top over and then you can see exactly what romper it is and i like folding this way because you can easily see what specific shirt or romper it is if they're laying flat sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell what you're grabbing and it just fits right in there there you go. Oh, and while I have you here, I figured it would be good to show you how I organize like all of my breastfeeding and bottle situation because I know that can get quickly out of hand because there's so many individual parts to like pumping and things like that and I know that I would want to see this if I was looking up organization videos for baby. So I'm going to pull everything out and then show you how everything's organized. So I like to dedicate an entire like kitchen cabinet to baby's things so it's just all in one spot and easy to grab. If you can do that, I highly recommend it. So I've dedicated this um, cabinet for his things. I do have one bin. I'm not going to pull it out because it's kind of everything's just thrown in there. But all of his bottles are in that top one alongside with a bottle warmer and some Boone like grass accessories. This, both of these containers are from the container store and they are in collaboration with the home edit. And I like the collaboration with the home edit pieces because they're very customizable. These little like dividers come out. So if you ever want to reuse them for different purposes, you can do that. I have this turntable. This is what it looks like. The label looks like if you're at the store, it's the divided turntable. And some of these containers actually come out. You can remove these pieces. It's really, really cool. One compartment, I have all of my breast milk storage bags. I have the lids to the pumping bottles, my extra hoses and um, pumping tubes. And then these are all of my pumping parts. So it works out really nice for the breastfeeding pumping situation. And then this one has all of the bottles. I have various sizes and things. On one side, I have my manual pump, which will actually go in my diaper bag. 
on this side as well as our like steam bags for the parts if we want to use that in a pinch and then some other random things like those hot and cold packs so as you can see everything is compartmentalized easy to put away easy to find so i hope this gave you inspiration on how you can organize your pump parts as well as your baby's nursery if you like this video please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys